Hey everybody, let's talk about the cervical spine and more so the brachial plexus. The brachial plexus is a cluster or web of nerves which has a center. It's the kind of the end point of most nerves in that region. And here we're looking at these are point these arrows are pointing to where the brachial plexus is located. It's under the trapezius muscle uh, right below it, and that's all the nerves that run down your arms into your upper back, your thoracic spine, and uh, many of your uh, cranial nerves, also your trigeminal nerve. So you really want to consider the brachial plexus if you have any issues with twitching or burning sensation in your arms, your hands, uh, your upper back, etc. And I just want to show you in another example here, let's do this, here we go. Uh, and, and this is me, folks. Don't mind the goony goo goo hairy chest. Uh, but that's fine. You can shave me down, but you'll never be able to train me. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, and I apologize for these being out of focus. It's just, they come as very small images. It's a very expensive thermal imaging camera that I've taken this with, but it's not intended for this purpose. It's intended for household uh, use to find drafts and hot wires, etc. Uh, but I use it anyway because it's helpful. And I Normally I don't have to blow it up this big, but I'm blowing it up this size for you guys to see it. So here we see that the brachial plexus is loaded with inflammation, and that inflammation is running down. Black here is inflammation. It's running up the chin and into the jawline. And if you look at the black outline, it comes down, goes into the arms, comes down to the bicep, and it actually travels down the front of the arm uh, and through the elbow. So in this case, tennis elbow or sen sensations of tennis elbow, uh, carpal tunnel, twitching of the hand of the fingers, uh, burning sensation in thumb and forefinger in this case. Uh, brachial plexus sarcode work very well in freeing up uh, brachial plexus or the, the cluster of nerves in that brachial plexus uh, that may have compression that's causing the misfiring of the of the nerves that, or information that's being sent through the nerves and the burning sensation that you're experiencing. Now you would always use a stimulating sarcode and this is going to cover your median nerve, your medial nerve, uh, mid, uh, ulnar nerve, it's going to cover your trigeminal nerve, uh, Oh, God, to get through them all. Uh, many of your cranial nerves as well. And you can see the activation going into the chest, down right along the line of the chest here as well. You see it goes into the armpit, and it's running down the arm. So, always check that brachial plexus. A, a, a sarcode of a brachial plexus, a 3C, 4C, 5, you're probably never going to get a 3C or 4C. A 5C. Or even a 6C is the absolute safest of any when, you, when we talk about sarcode. So you can get this from a quality homeopath. Uh, it, they're called sarcodes. And you would want brachial plexus, 5C or 6C. You're going to have a hard time getting the, the other two lower numbers. A 3C is the most stimulating. 4C is the second most stimulating. 5C is gentle stimulation, and 6C is normalization. So it's that's the do not let them sell you a 9C, a 7C, a 13C. No good, N no good. Um, not going to work for you. It has to be 5C or 6C is what I'm going to say is going to be the best one for you. 6C is going to take longer than a 5C. If you have the issues, this is the way to resolve it. That's it for now. Bye bye.